Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Borderwise, and welcome back to From the Depths. Some with some more totally honest scientific combat testing. I got honest and testing mixed up. So anyway, it is the long-awaited, I guess mostly by me, possibly by other people, uh, matchup between uh, Gmodism's Gimli class battleship over on the right, and the thing I kind of cobbled together to try and take her on, uh, the Drakenslang. So, I've gone over the Drakenslang in much more detail uh, in a previous video, there will be a link to that, and um, uh, yeah, you should go watch that if you are more curious about her. And the G mod, uh, the Gimli is covered in exquisite detail uh, by G Modism over on his channel. So go check that out if you're curious. Uh, but in brief, uh, the G Modism is a right sider. All the firepower and defenses are focused on the right side. Giant as crabs, giant as railguns, uh, scary as hell lasers. Uh, lots of extra stuff. Uh, direct input fed, uh, big sea whiz uh, to take out big shells, uh, big gorgeous superstructure uh, full with a banquet hall even, and um, extra crams and mortars just for giggles. And over here we have the Drakenslang, which is, I guess, considerably less interesting uh, to look at, both inside and out. It's a giant as canoe uh, with deliberate uh, flattened freeboard to fit massive as azopods that uh, propel her at a max speed of about 94 meters per second. So, uh, big scary triple rail guns in front. So we've got AP Frag, AP HE, and Disruptor Shells, and then pure Sabo Slugs. We've got two pretty doom E crams, uh, both hollow point and AP to cover all bases. Uh, she And then the rest is kind of just stuff I managed to jam in there. So lambs, uh, lasers, missile interceptors, and also, she also has Deflack, as inspired by the Gimli herself. And she also has a little, uh, tor not torpedo stick, a little sonar stick right there. So, I am filled with trepidation. I have no idea if the Drakenslung is going to win this. It's going to be best of three. We'll see how these two craft do. And uh, if nothing else, it's going to be a learning experience. Because remember, there is no failure and from the depths. There's only... Uh, setbacks you learn from. So, without further ado, let's begin. So, both of these crafts start smoked up in order to, um, in order to, uh, uh, defend against, like, big scary lasers. Those cram sh those doom crams missed by literal inches, I have you know, that whiffed, uh, right over these top turrets, and that would have been disastrous if they'd hit. That is why this thing is so flat, so crams go over the top of her. And looks like something got taken out. Those look like... Where the hell was that? That um, looked like railgun shots. So let's see what's happening over here temporarily. Uh, we've got solid shells diving in, and the Drakenslung is designed to focus down a particular spot. And so far, Drakenslung is on the lead. And there are the cram shell- Oh my goodness, they're hitting. Oh my goodness, they're hitting. Oh my goodness, they're hitting. Oh my goodness, what the- Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's basically- Well, not disabled, but weakened a doom cram. Okay, it depends on whether that one hits. It depends on whether that one hits. I am so terrified. Oh no! <laughs> What did that do? Oh no! Oh, that is a disaster. That is a disaster. Front turret knocked out. That's most of the firepower gone already. Oh, it's not looking good for the Drakenslung. And Rio taken out. Bad, 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 bad. Okay, it's mostly up to the crams and solid Sabo shells. And just like that, it's very, very even, and I don't care for that one bit. Don't care for that in the least. Uh, Drakenslung, you need to keep opening fire. We got lucky and unlucky at the same time. 
Yeah, so now the now the Gimli is in the lead, and uh, the Drakensong needs to keep up that APS fire in order to shut down the lasers uh, on the Gimli. If she doesn't do that, the lasers are going to make a huge mess. Okay, Mortar successfully dodged, and more Crams successfully dodged. Excellent. Okay, the Sabo rounds are now flying forth. Without the Disruptor shells, this is going to be much, much, much harder for the Drakensong. And those Sabo shells are getting in very, very, very deep. Oh, yes, this is perfect. This is what they're designed to do. They're meant to go straight for clusters of blocks. Straight for clusters of blocks and make a huge mess. And now this range is perfect uh, for the Drakenslung. Let's see if these crams manage to hit. It looks like they're going to miss because they just... Okay, they're getting close. Oh lordy, these are way too close. We're dodging them, but just barely. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. The Gmodism is in the lead. She has a significant uh, block count advantage. So, and also, those railguns she's packing are scary as hell. So, it is, uh, it's no joke. Uh, she doesn't just rely on crams. Uh, our saving grace is that those railguns are mostly pure slugs. So when they penetrate, they don't do a huge amount of damage, although you can see there, they do. Alright, let's see if we can get through And that pack on the superstructure is no joke either. We have to see if the dra if the Drakensla- almost called her the Draconia. That's another one of, uh... Whoopsie-daisy, looks like, uh... Yes. Yes. Okay, and just like- th oh my goodness, this railgun got disabled. Oh my god, can you actually do this, Drakenslag? Can you do this? Can you take on the whole of victory and win? That, Cram, almost killed us, thank goodness for Diffflag. It looks like a barrel got sniped. Yes, it looks- yep, that's looking good. Okay, this is a very even fight, I'm so nervous. I shouldn't care so much. I need to... Uh-oh. Let's see this Doom Cram. So the Drakenslung can dodge uh, most Cram shells that come her way, not all of them. That's an important point to make. Oh my goodness, if that had detonated on the shield, that would have been really bad. Let's see what's happening here. What's happening? Uh-oh, that's not good. Alright, thank goodness these custom jets are here. Um... Let's see what happens to this cram shell. Oh, jeez. Oh, lordy. Okay. Let's see if we can't track another shell. And in. Those Sabo shells are doing work, man. They're do I was expecting the cram cams to get, get taken out because, um, yeah. I think also the at least some of the railgun. Ooh, goodness. Every time one of those crams come and I get scared. Um,. I believe that a lot, some of the railguns on uh, on the Gimli are uh, set to aim below the waterline, and the Drakensong has barely anything below the waterline. Also, if she manages to flank the Gimli, that would be really good. And I think the Gimli is out of diff shots for the most part. Yep, and there's a... Oh lordy, that looked good. That looked real good. Was it good? I can't actually tell. What did that do? Let's go try and find the explosion effect. It probably happened somewhere. The Gimli is, um... The disadvantage of spaced armor like this is that, um... Well, empty air gaps are pretty good a defense, but also they do have their limits. I cannot believe that Drakenslang is uh, winning this. I did kind of design uh, her in mind with uh, what the Gimli is armed with. That, these railguns are what scares me. And also that particle cannon. This is where block spam is quite useful. It looks like... Uh, lordy, I'm looking out in the distance. Oh my goodness, moving at 90 meters per second and being flat is uh, turning out to be a very good idea. Oh my god, we're flanking her! The Gimli is being flanked. Oh my goodness. 
that looked like it did some damage. Oh, that definitely did. Oh my good, that's a lot of material taken out. Yeah, wow. Look at that, the Gimli is actually, uh, might run out of materials now. There's a lot that it's missed. Oh, in that mess. That is the disadvantage of going very, very fast and keeping your distance. Is that, um, is that uh, the enemy misses you, but you miss the enemy. It also entirely uh, depends, like, if the Gimli manages to get through that hull armor, which it can very easily can, uh, that, there's, that AP frag gun in the superstructure is no joke. That actually does a lot of damage. Oh no, it missed. Oh lordy, that did a lot of damage. That is... Oh my goodness, it's, it's, it's taken out a steam engine. Oh my lord, oh my goodness. I wasn't actually expecting... Not to jinx myself, I wasn't expecting this to go so well. Another weakness of the Gimli is that because the offensive laser and the lambs are on the same system, um, it means that like if you keep the lambs busy, uh, the lasers don't fire at you anymore. That's a like it's a major flaw actually, because in this case uh, the Gimli really badly needs the laser in order to keep consistent damage going. Oh yikes! 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 Oh no, that's bad. See what I meant? It is actually amazing that uh, the uh, the Draken Song is able to take those shots. It's actually taken two, lost like got a turret disabled, but it's dodged the vast majority of shots now. I think that's only the second uh, that's only the second cram shot from the Gimli that's managed to hit. Oh boy, can you keep it up, my girl? Oh no, that missed. That didn't. <laughs> Two percent lead. Two percent lead. If the um, if the Gimli loses engine power, by the way, it sinks. So, which is kind of similar to the Drakenslang, actually. If the if the Drakenslang um, loses engine power, it stops moving, and then, well, it's a sitting duck then. Uh, but also, oh wow, sniping azipods. Are the... the Sabo shells are still coming in. Um, that turret might have been damaged, I think. Let's go have a look. Oh yeah, it looks like only... No, only two of the guns are firing. Oh boy. That's not good. Yeah, one of them is disabled. Let's just have a quick squiz. Let's have a look. Let's have a look-see. Yeah, oh no. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh dear. Yeah, damn, like, this is, we're deep in here. Oh, no, that's bad, that's bad. Oh, that's the railguns that do that. That's almost certainly uh, the railgun snipers that do that. Those are the things that are a real threat to us right now. Oh, boy, but at least we're dodging the mortars. And hopefully, hopefully the Drakenslang can, uh deal with the rest of this. You have got to stop missing, the girl. You cannot afford to miss. Uh-oh, that that was not good. Something... I think she got hit. Oh no, that was a bad hit. That was a really bad hit. Oh, dearie dearie me. That looked like a cram shot that got lucky. What was that? Oh no, that's bad. I think that front, uh, that front turret got hit again. By the looks of it. Or it might have been. It might have been that one. Interesting, like, usually in all the combat testing, uh, the Drakenslung, uh, with the Drakenslung, it's, um, it's the cram turrets which get aimed for more, but this time, it seems like the APS turrets are getting shut down. See, did that do anything useful? The Gimli's turrets are like very well armored, by the way, but uh, thankfully not quite well armored enough to stop um, to stop the crams of the dragon slime. Come on, come on, my girl, you're almost behind her. You're almost flanking the Gimli. Why is she not? She's not turning well enough. 
Looks like the Drakenslang is literally outmaneuvering the Gimli, which is uh, a very good move. Very good move indeed, but it depends. She's got less redundancy than the Gimli, so um, what the hell are you doing? Are you going to try and be a mortar now? Time is slightly slowed down, by the way, so uh, this can happen at a reasonable pace. Oh my goodness, we're going to... I think the Drakensung is actually going to manage to get uh, around to the other side of the Gimli. Yes, my girl, yes. You're doing very, very well. Keep at it. Keep at it. Oh my goodness. I should mention that like there's an important builder's advantage here because uh, the Gimli was built first. The Gimli was built before the Drakenslang and the Drakenslang was designed with fighting the Gimli in mind. So, you know, it's like that does make things easier. Like, Ajimorism was uh, kind enough to actually showcase his entire building um, of this craft on his YouTube channel, so... That was very, very helpful for figuring out, like, how to counter it, so... I can't be too smug uh, if the Drakenslung wins. Oh, we've knocked that laser turret off. Oh, that's very helpful. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We've just... We're now... We're now bypassing the shields. We're now bypassing the shields. And, yeah, okay, yeah, this this fight is basically as good as one. But I shouldn't count my chickens uh, before they hatch, because uh, the Drakenslung uh, is down one and a half turrets, so to speak. Oh my word, those mortars actually, I think, did those mortars land? If they did, that's amazing. Mortars are one of those things that, uh, it's easy to forget about them, but, um... You shouldn't. Uh, they hurt. Okay, wow, okay. Alright, so now it's really the... I did not expect the cram cannons to uh, carry the day uh, in this fight for the Drakenslung. I really did not expect that. I thought the railguns would be doing most of the work and the cram cannons would kind of um, not do much. It turns out, though, uh, that um, the Gimli is precisely the kind of thing that crams are good at uh, shooting at. Alright, Miguel, you need to... You need to, uh, sh like, finish off the Gimli before you swing all the way back around. Uh, and before these railguns start shooting at you again, if you do that, you are in deep, deep trouble. What the hell happened here? Oh my god. It's interesting as well. I originally planned... Um, uh, when I was planning the weapon systems to use against the Gimli, uh, I was... What the hell? I was planning on uh, spamming torpedoes at her, uh, but... Um, but I, in the end, like, I couldn't afford to put any torpedoes on the Drakenslug. She was already too big and too expensive, so... Uh, that would have been a good idea. Oh, hello. You are turning the wrong direction. Oh, that missed by inches... Oh, and now we're, now we're getting shots on this side. Now we're getting shots on this side. This is why. Oh, boy. But nope. Now that now that laser's... Um, now that laser's uh, getting stuck in. So, like, it's not over yet. The Gimli can still get lucky. She's got... Uh, she's got uh, multiple crams left. And she's got those railguns in the front. And those things can probably AI dead... Uh, the Drakken song. Yep, they're turning. They are turning. Oh, oh, they're not turning. Are they stuck? Oh, Drakken song, my girl. You need to. You need to. You need to hurry up. That. Let's see if this thing hits. It's not. It's gonna miss. It is going to miss. We can see how the Drakenslung is doing. She's doing not great. She only has two repair bots, uh, by the way. Um, in a similar, I think, yeah, only two repair bots. She has got a bunch of repair tentacles, but that's just a habit of mine. Let's see where this is going. Oh, that might hit. 
It did hit, but it was, did not do much. Okay, well, yeah, the Drunken Slung has a very nice lead. She needs to maintain it, though. She needs to maintain it. That looked painful, whatever that was. Oh, yeah, now this is... Oh, now we're cooking. That's a laser system taken down, and, uh... Yeah, looks like... Yeah, looks like the Gimlet is properly flanked now. But yeah, if you move back in uh, within reach of those railguns, my girl, you are gonna have a very bad time. And this little diff gun on the front is also uh, plinking away. Also, that particle cannon, I think, is um, not to be underestimated. I think it's doing work. I think it's doing plenty of work. Oh, you need to stop aiming for those crams. They're no longer relevant. They are no longer something you need to think about. Oh yeah, now now we're now we might be in deep doo doo. E okay, thank goodness. I think this is one of the rail guns that aims below the waterline, and the only thing really below the waterline uh, for the Draken Slung is um, let's see, what did that do? That did. Basically nothing, so that uh, looks like it's shooting... Yeah, it's shooting uh, for these things down here. So hopefully uh, it's dumb and it keeps doing that. Let's see what these Sabo rounds are doing. Those Sabo rounds are going straight through things. That's very convenient. Okay, alright, you, you can see the shields are flickering uh, on the Gimli. She's running out of power. I think her laser system is quite badly damaged. So, also, let's see here. Is this cram gonna do anything? That looks like a problem. Uh oh. Alright, so the 360 detection's been taken out. That's the problem with that. Yeah, and the lambs has been quite badly damaged on, uh, on the Drakenslung as well. Ooh, boy. Ooh, lordy. Alright. Crams, do your thing, please. Alright, so the Drunken Song has more material. Uh oh, that looked that looked bad. What was that? What did that do? That look okay, just blocks. Good. Good, 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 good. Alright. She's not moving as fast as she was before. Yeah, she's oh no, but she's 80 meters per second. Alright. Oh lordy, that looks bad. Oh no, that's bad. Alright, so that is why we've got 4 meter thick deck armor, which I forgot to mention. It's uh, precisely for bad news like that. Oh yes. Oh, thank goodness. Alright. Oh! Oh my god. Oh! That is the kind of cram shot that you can only dream of. That you can only dream of. And again! So that's one of actually the major weaknesses of cram cannons is because of how they work and because those systems are made up of lots of uh, individual one meter blocks they are like it is a serious cluster of, um, of blocks which means that anything aiming for clusters of blocks quite often aims for them and that's kind of what I was counting on um, in this fight is just so the Drakenslung would keep focusing down those cram turrets and hopefully be able to withstand everything else. As you can see, she's really ho she's zeroing in on the clusters. Let that go through. Oh yes, 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 yes. yes. She, we might sink her. We might manage to sink her. She's losing a lot of buoyancy, and she's yes, yeah, she's losing power. She's also lost a lot of weight as well, though. So. Uh oh. All right. So once again, the Drucken Slung is um is is uh, coming around. She's coming around. She's gonna flank again. My goodness! And like in the space of one fight, um, uh, we've like the Gimli has been flanked not once but twice. That is impressive. This is the downside of uh not j just anything that focuses just on one side. As, um, uh oh, I think, um, before I get cocky, it looks like the Drakenslung is also, um, slowing down a little bit. Alright, 
Good, 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 good. She's once again, she's uh, out of the arc of fire of um, most of the, most of the uh, weapons on the Gimli. There's that narrow angle frag. All right, the shields, um, the shields are still working, but now uh, the Drakenslung should be able to get shots uh, past the shields now. <sighs> I mean, this is intense. It uh, remains to be seen uh, whether the next round goes the same as this one. It might not. It, like, you could see, like, um, just how the uh, front turret uh, on the Drakenslung got taken out. Just such a, an incredible shot uh, from the Gimli. And just one shot's all it took. And those turrets are not delicate. They're big. They have a lot of health. And, um, yeah. Looks like the Gimli might actually run out of materials. Um, maybe. I don't know. Uh, we only have one minute of this fight left. And the winner, by the way, is whoever just has the most health left. So, the Gimli being block heavy, she's more likely to have an advantage in that regard, I think. Uh, but, um, yeah, it looks like this fight's basically over. Uh, the Gimli doesn't look like she can do enough damage uh, fast enough. Because uh, she has about, mm, as of now, uh, 50 seconds uh, in order to make magic happen. Alright, looks like, yeah, crimes are coming in, and then, yeah, it looks like, wow, wow! I genuinely was not expecting the Drakenslung to do as well as this. Like, this is just round one, don't count your chickens. Also, that particle cannon is still doing stuff. I'm not, I think that's an impact pack. Um, but yeah, it's, um, the Drakenslung is like, She's working hard, man. Yeah, and it's like the basic half her turrets are disabled, and she's still managing to pull this out. Whew. And the fact that the Gimli is turning away from us, very convenient for us. Very convenient. It looks like, wow, this fight's been going on long enough that those uh, direct input sewers. Are, have actually managed to reload. Which means the ones on the uh, Drakenslung have also managed to reload. Those mortars are not really doing much, are they? Okay, you have 10 seconds to go. 10 seconds to go. It's like, do not, like, you know, don't count your chickens yet. Buck, 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 buck. Like, those, these railguns, if they get off a shot that takes out the AI, then, like, that could be it. It's not it. Okay, round one. Ten minutes. Ten minutes, and the Drakenslung has won. 90.4% 90, 90 health to 72.1. That's a very definite win. And, she shut the, and she's managed to disable, like, most of the weapon systems on the Gimli, which is no small feat, because, A... They're very well protected. These turrets, you can see just how much heavy armor uh, is in them and how much, like, of an air gap is in there. And uh, how much shields and all that stuff. And, like, the direct input sewers. And, yeah, like, shut down most of the weapon systems and those were left. So just couldn't quite manage it. So we'll have to see uh, whether the Drakenslan can pull that off again because it's partially luck if like uh, if the Gimli gets off one of those doom crown shots on like the midsection of the dragon song i think she'll be ai killed immediately so that was round one one point for the dragon song and now round two let's party so uh the uh, they're spawning two thousand meters apart by the way because and pointing at each other because uh that's how uh, gmodism uh tests his craft and you know what Tip the hat. Fair game. We're doing that as well. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay, so... The first match does show, though, that the, like, it's not a one-sided fight. Um, the Gimli, uh, if she gets lucky, if she lands shots in the right place, uh, she will... Uh, she will make lasagna <laughs> of the Drakenslung, so... Alright. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Okay. 
the Dragon Slung is thankfully also kind of easy on the, um, uh, excuse me, almost burped, is also quite easy on the frame rate, thankfully, at least on my PC. All right, so now let's, we were watching the, uh, the Gimlet, I nearly said we were watching the G-Modism. Um, no, g is the person who made it. All right, let's see what that laser does. That laser does almost, does very little. Okay, the railguns also did very little. We'll have to see. And those crams have... Uh-oh, no! That's bad. Oh, wow. What did that do? Did that do anything? That, like, clipped. Oh my god, that's incredibly lucky. That could have been so much worse. That could have been so much worse. That could have taken out the turret completely. Alright, let's follow these cram shells. Make magic happen. Okay. But, uh, yeah, the follow-up, uh, that is gonna make magic happen. Oh, that looked beautiful. That looked beautiful. What did that do? What did that... What the... It's an EMP... What? Oh, wait, I know what that is. That's the disruptor shell. I was like, hang on, I didn't put EMP on those crams. Okay, uh oh, no, 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 no. You do not want to get close, my girl. You do not want to get close. Okay, yeah, that could be. Uh oh. Oh my goodness, she actually did it. She actually managed to take those out. Okay, flank, 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 angle, 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 angle. It looks like you are going to... Uh-oh, this is what I was talking about. That might be bad. That was very bad. See what I mean? That's... Scratch that cram turret. It looks like it uh, doesn't matter, like... What happens is just uh, at the in the opening stages... Uh, the Gimlet is going to take out a cram... Is going to take out one of the turrets. At the very least. Okay, the Gimlet is in the lead. The Gimlet has got a hit point lead. This is not good. This is not good. All right, make it. What? Wait a minute. That that cram turret's not fully disabled. You can see though that. Um, uh, <laughs> oh yes, that is a doom cram sized hole. All right. Oh yeah, degraded mode, my old friend. Here you are. Here you are indeed. All right. So the two advanced cannons, hopefully, should be enough. Uh, to make up for that missing cram shell. Uh-oh. Mm, that depends on whether those hit. Let's follow, let's follow, let's follow, let's follow. Okay, yeah, they have, they have missed. They have just whiffed completely. <laughs> yep, wow, they... Basically outran them. Okay. Good, 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 good. No, but the Gimli's still got a health lead. I think without the uh, DPS of those crams, this is going to be a harder fight. Definitely a harder fight. Okay. And yep, there's more Doom Crams on the way. Depends entirely on whether magic can happen or not. Why are the APS shells not firing? They don't appear to be firing. That's bad. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. That's not good. That's not good at all. What? Why are they not firing? Like, they should be, like, uh, the railgun charges are in between them, so... Did an ammo storage get taken out? Hang on, that might have happened. Nope, looks like... nope. And the wireless transmitters are still functioning? Did the batteries get taken out? Nope, batteries are intact. Uh-oh. 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 She sh should still be charging. Yeah, I knew it. Like, I knew the second round might not go as well as the first. We're basically down to one cram cannon because it looks like the railguns aren't firing. This is why I... Ugh. That's really annoying. That's really annoying. Okay, Drakenslung. Yeah, and without the without the weapon systems managing to shut down um, the Gimli's weapons, this is going to get a lot harder. You need to flank her and stay there. 
Okay. Alright, degraded mode, my old friend. It's still happening. Yeah, and without the railguns firing... Thankfully, that laser's not doing anything. There is a lot of smoke um, uh, on the Drakenslang. I have learned the hard way from fighting the Draconia, which is uh, Gmodism's previous big craft, that um, he likes his lasers, and his lasers are big and do a lot of damage, so... Oh my word, that cram's still firing. What the hell was that? Oh. Oh, that was the diff flak. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no. Okay, wow, the, the Drakenslung is not dodging anything this time around by the looks of it. Yeah, she's basically crippled. What are you doing, my girl? You were doing—you did so well the first time. All right, let's see if these do anything. My guess is that they're not gonna do that much. Actually, nope. Never mind. Okay then. Yes. All right. Yep. All right. So, uh, fight's not quite over yet. That uh, that one cram turret might very well. Uh, carry us to victory, although it's not very likely because, yep, that's a lot of block confetti I see off in the distance. Let's see here what is happening. It looks like that damaged uh, cram turret is still managing to uh, make the gimlet exhaust uh, its diff shells, which is a very good idea. All right, those probably. Uh oh, they, they don't steer into them. Do not steer into them, Drakenslang. That would be bad. All right, that laser is actually being a bit of. Uh oh. Oh, jeez, that missed by inches. All right. How fast is it? All right, so we're going. The game speed is quite slow because these are big ships. Let's speed it up a little bit so we can actually have some. Stuff out. Oh, damn. Uh, when the missile interceptors do that, it means there's damage in the central compartment. It means that um, the staggered fire on them has been destroyed. Alright, let's see. It's an exchange of crams. Uh, quite an uneven exchange of crams, actually. Uh-oh, that's bad. That is very bad. It looks like the Drakenslang managed to dodge that volley. And now there's a second... A volley of crams coming in. Let's see if she can make up the difference. Oh boy, alright, so I'm now thankful that the side armor is so thick, because uh, once the doom crams are out of the equation, it is... Um... Oh, hello, that looked like it did something. Nice, alright, let's see here. The mortars are going to whiff uh, by a country mile, thankfully. This is quite a long video, but that's to be expected. Uh, when the game has to slow down this much. Oh, thank you. Oh, like, wow, I'm glad I did that now. Oh, boy. Whoops. That looked important. Uh-oh, this is bad. That laser is just... That laser is... Uh-oh, that's bad. Uh, if you can see daylight uh, from this part of the ship, that's bad. Let's, uh... Let's observe the view here. Right, you need to get the hell out of here... Right. Yeah, that laser is doing exactly what lasers are supposed to do, which is just focus on one spot and cook it. All right, and uh, but goodbye to your uh, goodbye to your stern. Oh damn it! That piercing shell did not do what it was supposed to do. All right, uh, you gotta hang out. You gotta hang out uh, behind the Gimli Dragon Song. You really do. You have seven minutes to uh, get a 4% uh, health lead. Can you do it, though, is the question. Ugh, damn, my throat's dry. I... Yeah, it looks like slowly but surely. Okay, we'll have to see. Looks like those are going to whiff by the looks of it. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. And shield absolutely saved the bacon of the that turret right there. Uh, barrel did get a little bit snubbed. And missed, because 
never mind, did not miss. All right, she's catching up, she's catching up slowly but surely. Let's uh, see what the damage is, not an awful lot. Uh, when crams explode in an empty space like that, not much tends to happen. The Drakenslung might get AI killed if uh, the Gimlet keeps focusing its APS and lasers uh, on that one spot. Or if it manages to do what I think it's going to do, which is um, straight up to... Oh lordy, that might be game. Oh... Oh no, okay. Okay, she's not dodging crams very well uh, this round. Oh, that one might also... Uh, no, that looks like it's gonna hit. Please, no. Oh, oh, deacon's hell. That would have been really bad. Okay, I believe in you, Drakenslung. You can still do this. You can still make magic happen. Oh, man. This is intense. These ships are really evenly matched, and it's really just depending... Uh, on sheer luck, on uh, where they're aiming. Because if the Gimlet aims uh, for the bow or stern of the Drakenslung, it will never hit with those crams. But um, if it aims somewhere slightly more sensible, uh, it will hit. Wow, looks like a turret got knocked off. Looks like the Gimlet is out of their flag, by looks of it. Look, not that it needs it. Okay, that's very convenient for us. And scratch one cram turret. Really scratch one cram turret. Damn, alright. Can the Drakensong win this with just one turret is the question. Is that laser disabled? Nope, it's not disabled. It's not completely di- Actually, it's damaged, that's for sure. Oh wow, that's a oh that was very good. That was very good. Now let's see if these hit. They may or may not. That's looking scary. I mean, if it hits the rail guns, it really doesn't matter. Because uh oh, 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 <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> that's bad. Oh, Deacon's Christmas. Oh, thank goodness uh, that the um. The Drakenslung has its power priority to set up uh, for the propeller. How fast are you moving, Miguel? Okay, you're still moving. Not top speed, but still pretty fast. Oh no, that laser's now going for the one cram that's still alive. That's bad. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad. That's very bad, that's very bad indeed. I think the Gimli is going to take this one. I just have that sneaking suspicion. Um, uh, you know, like, uh, just, you know, just a bit of a hint. Those look like they're gonna miss, but I'm not sure. Yeah, those crams are being a distraction and nothing more anymore. Oh my goodness, very even fight. I don't like that. I would have preferred an ass whooping like the first round, but no, we need drama. We need entertainment, apparently. Don't care for that one bit. Oh no, and now that cram cannon is damaged. Oh dear, right you ho, 4% health, you need to make up for it. Oh hey! <laughs> Finally managed to get off a railgun shot. Oh, Drakenslung. Oh, you like to... You like to make things tense, don't you? That one APS uh, might just carry it uh, for the Gimli. Oh, jeez, this is... Alright, we're in the safe zone. Most... Okay, mostly, but also not really. Okay, good, take out that cram. Take out that cram. You did not quite manage to take out that cram. See, look at that, that... Wait a minute. That might actually have done something, I'm not sure. Not sure at all. Okay. Uh oh. I think the Drakenslung is now switching sides, uh, which is bad because that means she'll uh, turn back around uh, to the right side of the Gimli. Wow, she just dodged a railgun shot though. That's convenient. She is now presenting her uh, more undamaged side 
uh, which is very convenient. Please miss. Oh, for the love of God, please miss! Oh, f wow. Alright, this is, uh... Oh, now, uh-oh, but the, uh, the diff- Oh, no. no, I think that's it. I think, yeah, I think that cram turret... I think it's damaged beyond repair. Or not. What the hell? Where did that go? What? Oh no, that's bad though. Oh, that missed. My goodness, like, make this more tense, why don't you? Oh jeez, oh no, you do not want to- Oh, that's a good move, actually. Wow! Lots of smoke, lots of smoke, okay. So long as that one a little cram turret that manages to- Oh, that's what happened. Wow, it overpinned. Uh-oh. What the hell was that? Okay, some custom jets got taken out. What's left of the steam engine? Oh no. Oh no, that's it. Nope, that's it. Uh, the wireless transmitter uh, on the AI in the AI compartment must have been destroyed. Let's go have a look-see. All the motivational posters are gone. Yeah, this happened in the test as well. Damn it, that's really frustrating. Well, that's it. Um, the the Drakenslung cannot fight back anymore, so round two goes to the Gimle. Damn it. <laughs> that's irritating, but you know, well played. Very well played. And looks like it's just going to be straight up AI dead. Um, if we let her get another shot off. All right. On to round three. We can, uh, we could uh, settle down and watch the Gimle just um, uh, use the Drakenslung for target practice. But nah, let's move on to round three, which will determine uh, who is the overall winner. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Okay, okay, so far, so far, interesting. Honestly, I'm happy that the Drakenslung just managed to win one of those fights. Like, she's proven that she's not bad, she's not a bad craft. Because uh, she is taking on something that is, um... Uh, bigger and more expensive than her, so she's punching above her weight. <sighs> okay, round three, alright. Now, if it's consistent with the last two rounds, we'll have to see... Uh, we'll have to see which uh, turret on the Drakenslang gets lost. Alright. Okay, alright. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, and... Go. I'm so nervous. Please win, Drunken Slung. Or it looks like... Okay, it looks like... Okay, it looks like the... Yeah, oh, wow, that's what I was hoping would happen the whole time. If the first two cram shots miss, then we have a chance. Then we have... Then we have a pretty decent chance. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Alright, so Drunken Slung is in a very slight lead. Very slight. And the first cra- whoops, that was a screenshot, didn't mean to do that. Alright, yeah, lead is being maintained, lead is being maintained. Uh, twin guard colors uh, for the Gimle, because that's cool. Alright, alright. Dramatic slowdown. Oh, this will be perfect screenshot material, look at this. Watch this, this is the thumbnail, or probably not. I don't know, we'll have to see. Okay, let's see. All right, get revenge. Get revenge, Drakenslung. Get revenge, you deserve it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Well, okay, it's that turret. That is the turret that gets disabled. Or at least very heavily damaged. Let's have a look here. What? How did that? How is the situation in here? It's actually not bad. Actually not that bad. Bad by the looks of it. Most of the turret is intact. Looks like. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's see here. Oh, thank goodness for surge protection. Thank goodness for heavy armor beam slopes. That could have been so 
Oh, much worse. And that deck armor, four meters thick, two layers of alloy and two layers of wood, that's actually really proving useful at the moment. It's really, although the direct, oh, those, the Gimli suddenly, suddenly for some reason has a health lead. I wonder why that is. Oh, please do not. Okay, come on. The rail guns need to, come on, work. Come on, I spent so much time on you. Yes. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Front turret is doing work. Disruptors doing what they're supposed to. Okay, and now the Sabo slugs are uh, going nuts. Let's see if these do anything or if they get taken out. I'm more worried by that Doom Cram. Actually, that's coming in. Actually, all these Doom Crams coming in. We know that the Drunken Slung manages to hit almost every time. Those are going to. Uh oh. She's not going as fast as she used to. Uh oh, that's really bad. That's really bad. If the Drunken Slung loses too much speed, um, the, um, the Gimli will be able to land shots much more frequently. But the good news is, is that uh, unlike the last uh, two times, uh, the Drakenslung is managing to keep um, at least three of her turrets alive so far. I might have just jinxed myself. Alrighty who then. Alright, full cram volley, that's very, very nice. And those crams have whiffed completely. And just shooting at the... I really wish there was a way to get them to not shoot. Uh, at the crams that miss, because, um, it's really not helpful. Okay. Hey, good, 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 good. All right, so the Drunken Song is back in the lead. Hopefully she flanks and flanks properly. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, really? What is going on here? Why is this happening? Is this, like... These things are set up, so they should prioritize charging the batteries. Uh, but I guess that's not happening this time. Let's see. Are the engines damaged elsewhere? Are the engines damaged elsewhere? No, they're all fine. And how about over here? Are they damaged? No, they're all fine. Is it just because time has slowed down a bit, or are they taking their time to aim? Okay, that fired. Good. What is happening? Why are these railguns not firing more? It's only the middle ones which are firing. What? Alright, let's follow these crams, see if they're doing anything. Yep, looks like the Gimle is out of diff, which is good news. What did that do? Did that do anything? Not really. Looks like some laser transmitters have been taken out. Alright, so here's more Doom Crams. Let's uh, see if the Drakenslung can evade them. It looks like some of them are gonna hit. Oh, crap. That would explain some things. Oh, no, that's so annoying. Damn it. Come on, my girl. Come on. Why do I shouldn't have made railguns? I should not have made railguns. If the batteries get taken out, they're useless. Ah, oh, damn it. No, my girl. Come on. I'm way too invested. Wait. Alright, this. Hopefully, this is a repeat of the first round where the crams just carry the day. At least that would be nice. Alright, those seem to have missed. Okay. Flanking time, flanking time. Lots of damage, please. Lots of damage, please. I'm so disappointed in those front APS turrets. I don't know what's causing them to not fire, um, but it's really annoying. Maybe that's why people are saying that, yeah, no, dude, you need to, uh, you need to use steam uh, for the electricity generation, because otherwise it looks like other systems hog that power first. That might be what's happening. Which is very frustrating. Let's see, let's see here. It looks like that did a lot of damage. Let's see. Actually, no, it exploded in here. Ah, it exploded in here. And that means, yeah. 
Damn it, that turret right that turret right off. Ah, oh, that's so straight. Uh oh. Oh good that missed. Alright, looks like it's uh, up to the crams uh, once again to uh, make magic happen. I think I already said that. Yeah, like that. Really, like, Gmodism's got a good point in saying that um, uh, when you're dealing with craft this lot, crams are very cost effective and they just do the job. <sighs> and the Drunken Song is not dodging them as um, nicely as I would have hoped. Ah, oh, crap. No, that's bad. Okay, no, that's good. Okay, sh they missed. Most of them missed. Mostly missing. Um, I say mostly. Oh, oh damn it. The Gimli is still got a health lead. Ah, uh, no. No, my girl, this is bad. This is real bad. Alright, so... Alright, it looks like if I just swap out the railguns on the Drunken Slung for, um... For APS that isn't so easy to disable, because damn it, I don't. Apparently, I'm just not good at railguns. Because um, they're not firing. Like they're, like even when they weren't like disabled and damaged, like they're not firing, and that's really annoying. Really, really annoying. Maybe a greater minimum range uh, would be uh, helpful as well. Oh boy. This is a long video, I apologize for that, but, um... Looks like both of these craft are trying to pull their... Not the superstructure, mate, come on. Not the superstructure, damn it. Uh, and this is the downside of setting uh, the aim point selection to try and... Um, focus down blocks, because if it's aiming for the superstructure, th like, it's gonna waste so many shots. So many. Very frustrating. Very frustrating. It's like, it's this is an even fight. I don't like that. <laughs> I really don't like that. The Drunken Slung cannot afford to take many hits. Uh, those look like they're gonna hurt. Oh, for the love of butterscotch pudding. Okay, they missed. By inches, they missed. Um, okay, good. The crams are still firing. Alright, uh, no, but, like, there's stuff happening over here as well. Looks like one of the, one of the, one of the cram systems on that turret has been completely disabled. Uh, okay, that's a good shot, good shot. Maybe I shouldn't have bothered with the hollow points. Let's see, what's happening there? Anything damaged? Alright, so we're poking little holes in the engines. Uh, if the Drakken Song wins, it's going to be very hard fought. Oh no, that didn't sound good. When it lags like that, it means it's got hit. Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it. Mm, it's very even, very even. Okay, scratch that turret. And scratch those mortars, I guess. Okay. Rock and Slung, you really need to stay on the Gimle's ass and, like, really don't leave. Stay on her. Stay on her, girl. Come on. Yes, good, 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 good. Make up that lead. Make up that lead. Come on! <laughs> Jeez, this is tense! Oh my goodness, those mortars are actually getting really close. Oh no, don't miss, my girl, come on! <laughs> Jeez! It's such a horrible feeling to, like, watch something that you really want to be good, and it's just... Ah, it's up against something that is, at the very least, it's equal. Okay. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. Ramshell coming in. Oh, man. They're wounded. These guys are wounded. Can I see the... Okay, g modism. 2 meters per second. 84 meters per second. Okay, good. That Ramshell did something. 
Okay, that looks like... It's hard to tell sometimes. It looks like... Uh-oh, no, 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 no. That's bad. That is very bad. Oh, no. Okay, no, it's gonna miss. Good, 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 good. Right, let's follow this cram shell over here. Follow, 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 follow. All right. Rock and slung. You need to... Damn, those mortars are getting very, very close. And, like, that cram's been weakened to the point where the lambs can take it out, which is not great. The Drakenslung needs to be consistently lucky now. Uh, the Gimli, uh, however, has... Oh, jeez. Oh, no, 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 Bad, 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 bad. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. This is uh, hard to watch for me personally. And looks like though, come on, you need to consistently disable, dis disable the rear weapons and stay behind the Gimli, and then you can win. Then you can win, my girl. You can do it. Oh no, that looks bad. I wonder if I just swapped out the railguns for crams, whether that would actually. Uh, improve uh, the Drakenslung's performance. Somehow I doubt it. Oh, this is neck and neck and I do not care for it. The Gimli is... Because the Drakenslung has been slowed, uh, some of those Azabods have been taken out, uh, the Gimli is managing to keep a good angle much better this time. Okay, and just like that, uh, the Drunken Song has managed to make things a little bit more even. <sighs> will it be enough, though? Will it be enough? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it'll be enough. It's been a while since I've made a video this long. Jeez. Okay, come on, Drunken Song. Come on. Come on. Okay, that armor is actually holding up pretty well against the Drunken Song's. Uh, secondaries. I say that uh, when a massive... Oh, no. No. Bad. Not good. <laughs> Not good when I see cram parts flying off. That's bad. Alright. That whiffed. That's good. Can you please aim for the rear of the craft? Okay, this is... Um... Alright, so now we appear to be in the safe spot. Or the safest spot you can manage. Alright, finally, the Drakenslung is... Uh... Got a hit point lead, that's very, very good. I'd like to add, I'm recording this much later in the day than I usually do, so... Alright, let's speed this up. Speed this up. What is that gonna do? Oh, no. Okay, thankfully, uh, this particular part of the ship is not filled with anything important, so that's good. We have a little bit of empty space. Okay. We've actually got good frames. Uh, maybe I should have... Oof, those crams look much more dangerous now. And now that the game's going full speed... Alright. Good, 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 good. Hit point leads being maintained. Repeat of round one, please. Okay. Right. Okay, come on, Draken Slong. Come on, come on, come on. Gmodism, if you're watching this, I'm guessing and hoping you're biting your nails as much as I am right now, because, like, you know, m my butthole is, like, puckered tight. <laughs> okay, looks like... Oh, no. Whenever uh, whenever it arcs like that, that's bad. Oh, no. Right on that turret. That's pretty much all those railguns are doing in the front now. They're block distraction. Well, goodbye to some of that superstructure. All right. All right, my girl, you need to maintain this lead. That's good turret design, though. Uh, being able to um, fire backwards like that. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Uh... Okay, that could have been much worse. I think that was a pretty damaged cram. Okay, let's see. Oh, this... These beam slopes seriously are saving our bacon like nothing else. It just means that those fragments don't have quite enough damage to punch all the way through. Which is very convenient. It looks like the lambs has been taken out. Good, 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 good. We've got a hit, hit point lead. 
All right, my girl, you need to maintain that hit point lead for um, the better part of four minutes. Can you do it? This is so interesting, though. It's like, um, in pretty much all the combat testing I did with the Drakenslang, it's like it was the uh, cram cannons that tended to get disabled. And then the APS would just, you know, they'd just carry it. They'd just keep, like, surviving. But this time, it's like, it's the APS, like, every time uh, when weapons get disabled, it's the APS that gets disabled. It's very strange. Very interesting. Okay. Also the fact that I think uh, the Drakenslang... Oh, uh, jeez. I think that the fact that the Drakenslang has very few blocks below the waterline is kind of just fooling uh, those blocks, those railguns, which are trying to aim consistently below the waterline. Oh no, she t No, don't do it! No! If you turn, that's bad. I mean, I guess it could be worse. Oh no, that's bad. It means you're gonna... you're gonna... What the what? What the hell was that? Did the detection get disabled? Alright, looks like that cram shell's gonna miss. I hope it does. Okay, also... alright, we're bringing the, uh, the diff guns back around to bear. Okay. Okay. Oh no. No 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 no. Alright, that cram cannon isn't as strong as it could be, but oh no, that's very strong. Oh no. Oh no, that's a lot of bits. That is a lot of bits. Okay, could be worse though. Alright, the very least there's damage being done to what the it's f the why are you firing now? Maybe the battery is just very slowly recharged. Oh gosh, no, girl, don't do. Th it was such a mistake to have it change broadsides like that. That it's suicide. No. Now th this is exactly what's favoring the Gimli now. No, you had your chance, Drakenslang. I don't think this is going to end well for you at all. Oh, crap. No. Oh, no. That's bad. That's so bad. Oh, no. Now it's a slugging match, and it's really... The advantage is for the Gimli. Ugh. It's very frustrating. That is tremendously frustrating. Like, the Drakenslang can't win this now. And the annoying thing is just with a few small tweaks, um, she'd be able to win. She'd be able to win. Like, I can tell that she'd be able to win just fine. But no, now she's too close. Now she's too close, and those... Those Doom Crimes can have her way with her. Ugh, so annoying. I don't think, like, even if she manages to survive until the end, I don't think it really counts as a win for- No, damn it! That's so annoying! That's so frustrating. It's gonna take a miracle now, it really is. No, you don't have the health for this, my girl. You really don't. You really can't- Nah, see, the- the- gym the Gimli's now making up the... It's so annoying. Damn it, you fool, Borderwise. Why did you do that? Like, switching broadsides just, like, you know... It just brings her closer. It brings her too close. Honestly, um... Uh, the diff sea was, was a waste of time. It really shouldn't have bothered with that. I don't know. I think I think this is it. I don't think the Drucken Slung's gonna win. She has about forty seconds to make up. Like, yeah, no. See, those they're hitting every time now. They're hitting every time. It's only a matter of time before um, uh, one of those cram shells hits the AI compartment, and then that's it. Yeah, no. Damn, so. I'm sad. <laughs> I'm sad. I'm really sad about this. Like, I knew there was, like... I wasn't sure from the beginning whether the Drakenslang would be able to do this, but, um... 
it's really annoying that, like, she did so well in the first round. She, like, she dominated the Gimli in the first round. And now just through poor AI setup, now she's gonna lose. And that's really annoying. It's so, so annoying when a craft that's, you know, that's optimal. that's like, you know, it's like do done almost everything right, but just, just for like, you know, just one small detail that dooms it. Because if she'd stayed behind the Gimli in this round, she would have won. She would have just kept chipping away at the health, and she would have had a percentage hit point lead, but... No, she didn't manage it. She didn't do it. So the Gimle has won this one. The Gimle is a superior fighting craft. Ah. Slight hit, slight um, block count advantage, slight uh, material cost advantage, but still, the Drakenslung was designed basically to dodge crams and counter the Gimle's armor setup. So this is a loss for me. This is definitely a loss for me. Sad day. So well done, Gimodism. The Gimle has won. And it's, um, thankfully for me, not quite back to the drawing board because I immediately know what I should change uh, about the Drakken Song in order to uh, get her to uh, get her to win this more consistently. So look forward to that. I'm going to be tinkering with the Drakken Song. First off, I'm going to get rid of those bloody railguns. They're not helpful. I'm going to swap out those APS. Uh, for something more reliable, like this is the weakness of railguns is that like if for whatever reason if you're um, whether it's um, whether those injector engines being stupid and like powering other systems instead of charging the batteries, I've I thought I fixed that, I really did, or whether it's just your batteries get taken out, so on and so forth, like that's the weakness of them it's like it's like dependent on other systems staying alive in order to do their job. So, yeah. Lesson learned. And, um, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps. And there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you uh, next time in From the Depths. Scientific combat testing. Let's zoom in on the winner. And uh, well done, Gmodism. Gimle is a beast. Uh, very much so. Bravo, bravo. Farewell.